Hi guys, since my last video, I have been traveling a bit. Pune was one of those cities I had visited. Here is how I have spent a day in Pune. So as you guys have must seen, I am in Pune now. Let me show you the view from his apartment. Yes. So he claims that on the other side is Hinjwadi and all this green area you see it's it belongs to the army with few apartments here and there. That's the Digi Hills. Irani Cafe started in 2016 and it's a tasty tribute to the vanishing establishments of Bun, Brown and Bentwood chairs with a bill to match an era gone by. So first we have ordered tea, they have special tea and tea, the Irani tea. And I, we have ordered the Irani tea itself, the special tea, they are saying that it has more of milk and this has milk mi mixed with water. So, so at least they are honest that it's milk mixed with water. So it's just like any other tea in Kolkata which costs maximum 10 rupees and here it's 32. Maybe the ambience is the price we are paying. The typical cutting chai, properly sweet, properly flavorful, it's good, it's really good. So they make the black tea here. Here you will find yourself surrounded by the buzz of chit chat of people from far and near, wall hangings of antiques, portraits from the past and much more. Apart from their special tea, banmaska and brown, they also serve mawa cake, coconut cake, cream roll and much more as you can see. Here few must try items are banmaska, irani tea, kima pao, chicken kima, mutton kima and mawa cake. Uh, kya try kare? Humne dekha ye uh, brun maska kya hai? Ye kadak pao. Kadak pao. Wo kya meetha rehta hai? Nahi. Banmaska meetha rehta. Banmaska meetha aur brun maska kadak pao matlab kuch salty kuch rehta hai? Nahi nahi nahi. So this is the normal plain bun they have. It has four slices, looks and smells fresh and soft. See, this is their special 
not special, but looks special. Mutton keema. Here is the first bite. Okay, let me apply some lime over it. Very fine. You won't feel the crunch of the meat or the bite of the meat. Very fine, very coarse. Oh, very fine. A lot, not a typical food reviewer. Sorry. कौन है ये लोग? कहाँ से आते हैं? The masala is very coarse. It hits you. Not very overpowering, not too spicy at all. Really great. This is a must try. After an amazing breakfast and a heavy one, we are now walking down the streets of Kalyani Nagar in Pune. As you can see it's, it's very green and lush. The weather is also amazing. It's not raining. It's a little. There's a little sun out there, somewhere, maybe, I'm not sure. A few moments later. If we follow this Lohegao road, it will lead us to the airport. But on taking the right, just before the airport, it will get you to a road that has many plant nurseries on its left. It drizzles every time. We are at a stretch of road where uh, there are almost 5 to 10 flower shops selling all kinds of plants, flowering plants, money plants and much more like you have pots, you have customized uh, items for your garden everything and like there are five to six minimum good quality stores here you can choose from and bargaining is a must because they will definitely charge you high so <laughs> Yeah, it's a little bit of money. 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 It's a little bit My love for tea brings me to this tea point. I have always believed that a city or a place need not be fully explored so that one always has a reason to come back. When it comes to Pune, I have so many reasons to come back to.